What is up, fellas? JPS delivers here. We're going through game plan. This is, well, I guess it's a weekly a weekly game plan for Man 2009 or 2006. Uh, it's just doing like a couple plays or several plays. Uh, it's like focus number one, just basically that you know, um, run these kind of plays when they're gonna do like the, when they're showing this kind of like setup in the pregame like uh, or pre-play formations. Um, this one when they send a safety blitz. Good way to try to either get deep down the field with like Terrell Owens or hit like a tight end because they're sending like what seven or eight guys on that and then this one to run this play whenever they're running a nice little DN contain on the outside with the two guys on the top. Um, just run a little slants up the middle and get maybe like a 10-15 yard pass um, just to get in between the two zones. Um, so yeah, uh, we're looking at a game against what is a team we're facing the Giants so yeah had to go back looking at the roster I know Aaron Rodgers a rookie quarterback in this one um, for the Giants I, but they're definitely their strength though is the secondary um, which pretty much set it up to where Deuce McAllister would be in a really good position to uh, control the game and um, I thought for him you know when we'll take a look at it I mean Jamal Lewis is hurt right now they have quite a bit of injuries on this team so this game could have easily been different just in general regardless of these injuries um, so would have, most likely would have been very different yeah, I always look at Larry Allen's strength in each of the games and stuff he's usually like 97 and like 98 strength but their offensive line is really impressive um, their defense line isn't really that amazing at all. Their ends aren't amazing besides, you know, Rod Coleman. Up the middle, they have good, a good middle linebacker, but really their strength is having, like, Darren Sharper, Leader, Lito Shepard, and uh, Rondé Barber, as we're going to find out pretty much, like, two minutes into the game in the first quarter. Just um, On this one, I think it was just more so the game was closed or close for the most part because I just didn't utilize uh, their weakness or exploit their weakness by utilizing our strength um, didn't do that until the second half and uh, we'll check it out but um, I did make the mistake apparently when even if uh, week six because week six is the trade deadline even like in another one of the fantasy franchises that were already at week six I think it's with the Dolphins there you go, three best players, Antonio Gates, T.O., and Roy Williams. And look at right there, their secondary, easily their strength. Two two best players on their team are cornerbacks, and their best player is Darren Choppa. Darren Choppa. But um, for week six, I had it simulated up to week six. And then I was like, you know what? Wills McGahee on this Miami team. Maybe I could look for like a cheaper guy for salary, open up even more cap room for uh, next year to land like you know one or two studs um, maybe get a good quarterback I don't know I, Rex Grossman's a quarterback I do have a couple game plays to post of that um, I'll have that posted most likely on Friday of that gameplay um, but right here setting up just to try to get this game I was trying to get under control but unfortunately so first down pass right there by Aaron Rodgers the Giants look like they're just coming out like full steam ahead but you get the interception right there by Adam Pacman Jones and then bam right away just I jump when you jump too early jumping your timing of jumping for these catches is really important backup Williams was breaking a decent amount of tackles at the beginning so you can only imagine what it would have been would have been like with Jamal Lewis running the ball um, Deuce McAllister was easily our strength for a team. Nice run right there by him. And then, looking at it, just Aaron Brooks in general. It's a shame. Again, jumping too early. And then it leads to literally two picks to start off the game for Rondé Barber. And the Giants are pretty much in uh, position of a bit of... Excuse me. But there you go, third pick. It's going to be Lito Shepard. Uh, one of my favorite players to look back on at Madden. Lito Shepard played uh, what, for the Bills and Eagles or just the Eagles. I don't, I don't know. No, for sure he played on the Eagles. But there you go, three interceptions to start the game. No touchdowns whatsoever. Starting to move the ball down the field. At this point, you got the pick six. Only score on the board. Defense wasn't doing a bad job at all. Um, I felt like we had more. Now this might be the most embarrassing play of them all. 
without even looking at the kick to start with. Look at pressed it too early and just absolutely shank stake that shit. No good from 60 yards out if anybody's going to be able to have a chance to do that. It's Janikowski. And again, Jamal Lewis would have ran all day on us. Back up Williams. Just did a really good job. We didn't do the best of job of batting balls down, and they're just getting down the field, running plays really well. Forcing enough, though, I shouldn't have ran out of the end zone. I was just kind of, like, excited as fuck that we were able to pull that off. And then I, again, just didn't do a good job with it. Usually I'm way better with uh, the 50-50 balls, batting them down and not letting much of a chance. But, yeah, our offense, just with those interceptions, just you see T.O. is able to handle that matchup. Even though it's a tough matchup, T.O. can handle that matchup. He can handle any fucking matchup. Um, but just not able to get any points there at the end of the half, 14-0. And then, bam, here we go. We're using Chris P Perry. I think Chris Perry's back up running back. Yeah, nice little first down run. Then Curtis, I mean, his speed up the middle has been really nice for us, but we just need to give T.O. the ball way more often or at least give him better options. Okay, we did get the field goal to end the first half, but did not make the extra point. I fucked that up, too. So 14-9, Giants are definitely sitting oh, in the driver's seat, Jesus. But, I mean, for the most part, though, the second half was, for the most part, I'd have to say it was, yeah. It was Deuce McAllister, but we did get the passing game. It was more of a complimentary thing. We played really well. Nice little first down right there. Pass, and then another first down pass to Chris Perry out of the backfield. Nicely done first and goal, but we have to settle for a field goal, though. 14-12, to 12, would have been 14-13, whatever. And there you go, incompletion on third down. It's going to give us the ball back here in the fourth quarter with nine minutes to go. Um, trying to set up a nice pass. We do right there to Hines. It's about 20 to 30 yards on that play. If you can continue moving it down, you can see Kevin Curtis right there cutting underneath and nicely done. And then there's the touchdown right there. Deuce McAllister's second touchdown on the day, I believe. I believe it was. But then you go. Just need to be able to get better touch and stuff. And then bam, right away. Just right off of that, Philip Buchanan. He's a fast dude. But um, man, if you don't get your if you don't get your angles right when chasing players down, you will not chase a player down ever. You'll have a zero percent chance. <sighs> Excuse me. First down run by McAllister, by Deuce. First down catch right there by Kevin Curtis. Move the ball down. I think at this point we're just, you know, I think it was just rely on the running game. Let it open it up. And then here we go. I, on a 57-yard kick. I just don't think it was enough power, right? Because we were sitting there trying to tie the game up. 21-18. to 18. Now three minutes to go. Third and seven. Uh, I mean, just a huge play, so I'm trying to send an outside blitz. Absolutely goes to shit. But fortunately enough, you control one guy and know the other guy's going to be able to blitz, and you can go from there. I don't know how that ball didn't get intercepted, but it's going to be their ball again. Less than two minutes to go, and at a beautiful stop on third down. Now we got the ball, trying to utilize more and more positioning. And then there you go, Kevin Curtis. I believe he had 100 yards in the game. He played really well. And then pulled the New England trick, except we didn't have the the cross block by a wide receiver. It was done, actually, by just forcing both of the guys on the Giants. I believe that's near. First down pass, and then there you go. Take the fucking lead with 30 seconds to go, or 33 seconds to be exact. And then here we go, Rodgers. Well, this is before Rodgers uh, for sure became uh, the stout player that he, uh, that well, Pretty much known as one of the more clutch guys, wouldn't you have to say? And then, bam, there you go, baby. It's fucking jinx the living fuck out of that man. There it is. Game-winning interception. 25-21 at home. It was just a really bad game. Should have lost that game. Honestly, totally should have lost that game. Um, but, hey, it is what it is. Nicely done. A nice little win right there by um, whoever the fucking coach is of this team. Whoever is not Sean Payton on this team, but there you go. Reception by three different players. Um, look at that. 20-yard average per catch? Jesus. 10-yard, 20-yard rush average for one player. Yeah, it's because of only one run for the game. But, but either way, really nice win. Um, I enjoyed it. I mean, it was 
<sighs> it's a tough game overall. Um, but really, though, um, thought we, I mean, we ran the ball really well. Ended up passing the ball pretty well as well at 249 yards. Had a couple big um, plays by Kevin Curtis. Look at that, 145 yards, two touchdowns on the ground. So 98 yards by Kevin Curtis. Um, definitely, definitely need to change the yardage on T.O. Only three catches for 38 yards. That's just not going to go at all whatsoever. Um, but, hey. It is what it is with just something to work on. Um, look at that, 13 pancakes by that man, Jesus Christ. But yeah, I had a sack by Hainsworth and I forgot who else. But Polly Buchanan and Harris, I believe. And then two for four on the kicks by Janikowski. We're just not being very accurate whatsoever. Felt like Rogers. Um, I know he got hurt at the end. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Hey, no wonder they didn't uh, end up winning the game. Rogers got hurt. No, uh, no clutch play to end the game, but it is what it is. It's just a uh, nice little win. It was really shitty. Uh, really, it was like lucky again. But we got, we just need improvement on Aaron Brooks. Just throwing way too many inter interceptions. Need to get better at jumping up with the ball as well. It's always fellas player of the game, Deuce McAllister. Take it easy. Take it. Don't take anything for granted. And have a good one.